for like cheap as fuck. And I'm trying to download them all right now. I can't fucking keep y'all stable. You cannot go against me. You can't. You can't. You can't. I'm not adding you either because it's going to crash my live. No. Neverland was more than alright, bro. No. 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 You're not dismissing six like that. You're just not. Look, bro, the whole thing about me talking my shit is I'm supposed to believe that I'm better than y'all. Like, I didn't put that post up for y'all to get butthurt about it, bro. Like, I put that up because that's genuinely how I feel. And I really don't care about anybody's reaction to it. Like, you, you can see how none of my homies got offended by that because they know, like, they probably think that they're better than me. And I don't have a problem with that. So, me saying whatever I'm going to say, it's a free country. I'm going to say whatever the fuck I want. And if it comes down to it, I'm going to end up proving it. Period. I really don't care about none of that shit. Nah, nah, you telling me to listen to criticism. Why don't you listen to Live and Learn? Why don't you listen to Never Satisfied? Why don't you listen to... Actually, nah, there's a lot of shit that you ain't heard that you can't judge. So... Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. You're talking about a song that's like, that I made like six years ago. Nah, talk about the shit that I got right now. Fuck that. You got shit to fix. I bet you do too, though. You feel me? I don't give a fuck. How a motherfucker gonna come in here and tell me I got shit to fix? Bring up an old song and act as if their shit is perfect. I've heard your shit before, bro. Like, it really does. <laughs> I don't know why you're talking. I don't know why. I legit pissed some people off today. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> if you was really better, you wouldn't be telling people you better. I guess that applies to me too, but I really don't care. I really don't care. Diablo, what's good, fam? I need you on this shit that I got with Six, bro. Me and Six making a whole thing. How much for a feature? You know, with your ugly ass, that all you gotta do is send me something. Or ask me to send you something. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> when I'm doing a feature with somebody, I look at it like, say you come into somebody's house, you want to basically, like, keep a good vibe. Like, you don't want to disrespect somebody's house in a sense of, um, I don't know, bringing some shit in there that don't belong in there type shit. You know what I'm trying to say. Casey, if you was in here like five minutes ago, the, the, those two motherfuckers come in here talking about I can compete with you. You should listen to this old song you put out five years ago. You still got shit to work on. I'm like, yeah, your shit is totally perfect. Get the fuck up out of my life, bro. I should be able to say I feel like I'm better than everybody without people getting butt hurt. You supposed to think that. Like, Casey, if you said that you was better than me, I wouldn't fucking care, bro. Like, I'd be like, okay, fine. Because you are better than me at a lot of shit. Like, there's a lot of shit that you are better than me at. Facts. You're, you're better at catching a vibe than me. I literally gotta sit here and find it. Like, if I hear a beat that's at least I'm fucking with, and I don't wanna just go in and do some random shit, I'm gonna sit and listen to it about four or five times before I'm like, okay, this is what I wanna do. Your ass, I've seen you do this. You just fucking play it and be like, alright, boom, I'm finna hit this bitch. And I'm like, this motherfucker Casey, I've watched him do a lot of fucking shit. I've watched him do a lot of random shit. That should be making me laugh. I don't see why that post pissed off anybody. Like, it didn't it didn't piss off anybody that I cared about pissing off. That's for damn sure. Shit, motherfuckers was reposting it too. I was like, alright. That should be making me laugh, because I want I want either one of them dudes to diss me. Like, say my name, bro, please. Say my name. That way all your people can find out about me and forget about you. Real shit. What up, Smokey? Boom! Here what up, boy? <laughs> what up, what up? Chilling, bro. I just bought a bunch of beats. I'm downloading them bitches. That's what I'm talking about. Fuck yeah. I found some motherfuckers that make some fire-ass beats for the low, so I'm like, hey, let me get that pack. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. What you up to? Man, nah, shit. Fucking going day by day, hating this shit every fucking day, ready to bring my ass home, but I need a cigarette. But I need, I need, I need alcohol. I need, I need a substance, but I need something. I can't say it on the live, but I need something. 
I feel you, dog. I ain't been able to indulge that much lately because I've been having, like, some semi-blood pressure problems. Like, it's been all right lately the past few days. But, bro, like, a few weeks ago, I had a full-on fucking scare, bro. It scared the shit out of me. Well, damn. Yeah, it wasn't fun. And I still ain't went to the doctor yet because of this bullshit-ass virus. That's fucked up, man. I see you, Casey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, that be wild. Hey, I'm going to get back on that shit when I get back. No cap. You, shit, you see what I'm I'm going to have that fucking pack. I'm going to have so much shit just, like, ready. You could come back with just written, and I'll just be like, here, I got this beat, this beat, this beat. Fuck. I ain't even got time to write in this bitch. I just been fucking going off, like... I catch myself in a laundry room <laughs> some days with a YouTube beat going, and I just be fucking spitting. Shit, I really haven't been able to write a whole lot lately. I recorded uh, two days ago. Yeah. Fucking, I knocked out three or four songs, but I was feeling like shit. Man, that sucks. You having fucking blood pressure problems, man? That's crazy. I think it's because I've been eating like shit, bro. Like I've been eating so bad, like so bad. What you been eating, booty? <laughs> anything but nah fucking um just fast food dude like in general just mad fast food for the past three years straight yes yeah, probably do it i think the main thing is they eating like shit but i'm also probably overworking overheating dehydrating type shit yeah it could be how much longer you got till you come back uh like five weeks i think yeah like five weeks that don't sound too bad. It don't sound to too bad, sound. but fucking live it, by Live it. It sucks. <laughs> okay, I'm yeah, telling you. You right. You right. I'll be just dismissing shit sometimes that I don't know shit about. There's Quay. What's up? Man, he, he, he retarded, bro. He fucking said earlier, he was like, how much you charge for a feature? Acting like I won't give him a feature. You know I'm going to give you a feature, Quay. I got Man, Quay, you got to send me a link to your shit. I gotta hear it. Bro, that. Did you ever hear that fucking bankroll, bankroll, bankroll? I don't know. I might. I don't know. I don't think he sent me nothing. If I heard it, it was either from you or from Raymond. Unless he got it on like a platform. Uh, I think it was on YouTube, but it, I don't know if he took it down or not. I haven't really. It was a while back. The only motherfucker I remember from school that's still rapping, or that just started rapping, that it came out of nowhere to me was uh, Char Charles Nivett. That's him. That was my old shit. I need some new shit. Well, get you some new shit, boss. That's what I'm talking about. Bro, did you see how I was pissing people off earlier today on my shit? All I had to do was make one little post and say, I'm better than y'all. And people were like, oh, no, motherfucker. <laughs> no, I ain't seen shit, bro. I ain't seen no fucking thing, but I love it. Um, I love it, too, because, like, the people that I feel like should have got pissed off about it are reposting it. And I'm like, hey, because me and you already had this conversation. Like, if you feel like you're the best and shit, that's what you're supposed to do. Like, yeah. even if you think you can you can say right now that you're better than me and I wouldn't even be mad at it, bro. I'd be like, that, uh, that's what you're supposed to think, bro. What about confidence, bro? Like Word. Motherfuckers got mad at me. I'm like, all right, well, then just do better. I don't give a fuck. LP Rambo. Is that that's that one boy you be talking about? That's six, yeah, that's six. Yeah, okay, okay. Buddy wow. I fucks with it. Yeah, yeah, he fired, bro. Oh yeah, me and me and him got one song that when you come back, you gotta hear, bro. Like I'm waiting on it, uh I sent it to Smith to mix it. And I'm waiting on him to send that shit back. But when he sends it back, I'm gonna like I'm probably gonna email it to you because I know you probably wanna hear that shit. It's fire. It's fire as fuck. All right. Hey, did you ever look up that fucking dude that I told you about? I think I forgot completely. That little Rob dude? That did you ever send me a link? Or I... did you just tell me to look him up? No, I just told you to look him up. I never sent a link. Casey, <laughs> no. Oh, Casey. That's Jay Wavy. That's his, that's his profile picture. It's Jay Wavy. R.I.P. to the G. You talking to Dada? Nah, not lately. We were supposed to hang out, but I kind of ghosted him because he didn't want to stay at his house. He, he wanted me to meet somebody at, uh, meet him at somebody else's house. And I'm like, you know what, bro? I'm not really feeling that. So I just didn't go. Yeah. I've been talking to him a little bit, bro, but he just, 
I still love the man to but he fucking crazy. <laughs> bro, like, I, I just be wanting to lock in at his house and try to make some shit. He be wanting to do some extra shit sometimes. Got to figure it out, Troop. Got to figure it out. <laughs> I feel you. It, whenever you get off of here and shit, though, like, look at my second most recent post. Like, I, I piss some motherfuckers off. It's funny. It's so funny. Ain't no white dude voice that deep. Bullshit. bullshit. Yeah, that's bullshit. <laughs> that's bullshit. Have I played you? Um, What all have you heard from mine and Casey's little shit that's been the fucking drop? The IT thing? Or the highway, highway 90. 90. Yeah, Highway 90. Oh. I think, nope, no, I think it's going to be the sequel. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what all I heard off that bitch. I, I know I played you Malibu. I don't never really be catching the names of them, bro. You got to think. You was drunk, too. <laughs> Last time. Yeah, but you don't ever tell me the name. You just be like, let, let me show you this song. Let me show you this song. And I'm like, oh, oh okay, yeah, yeah. And I'm like. I, I just be expecting you to look. I don't know. I don't ever tell nobody nothing like that. I just be expecting them to look at the top left-hand corner like, oh, that's what it's called. But I, I've been wanting to go fuck with Dowd out. I just never fucking, I never really get around to it. I'm either tired as fuck or lately I've been feeling like shit with this dumbass shit going on with me, bro. I, I need to figure it out. But this corona shit, it, like everything that's not virus related is getting pushed to the side. So like, even if I have an appointment booked right now, there's like a very, very high chance that it could get pushed back. Yeah. Which I don't know why I don't have one right now. I should, but. Bro, they did us fucking crazy for this virus shit. Did they fuck old dude up? They pulled the fire alarm? Oh, no. Nah. We don't know what happened, bro. We don't. We still don't know. There's no cameras? I mean, I, nah. I mean, there's cameras, yeah, but we don't know, like, why it went off. Oh, that's weird. At least I don't. I haven't been told why it went off. Six said I need that self-titled. <laughs> I need that self-titled cover. He's not in here, but fuck. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that self-titled that Six is talking about, that's that's the uh, that's the cover that I'm trying to have made out of my mugshot, but nobody wants to make it right. Literally nobody wants to make it right. What you mean? Like, you know how whenever you send somebody an idea and, and all you want to do, all you want them to do is like execute the idea because you can't do it yourself. And then they try to take it and make it like their own artistic thing and they're not supposed to do that. Yeah. Type shit, yeah. Like motherfuckers won't quit doing that. They won't do what I tell them to do. They're like, no, this looks better. I, but okay, but I don't want that. <laughs> this virus shit that had us fucked up, bro. We had we were supposed to have a family day. We were supposed to have a family day whenever we graduated and shit. Didn't get that. Couldn't have our family come through. Our graduation, they had to live stream that bitch on Facebook. That's fucked up. This next graduation we having live streamed on Facebook. Think about it, bro. That's one 10 week block that I did that was live streaming on Facebook. This 10 week block that I'm doing now, live streaming on Facebook, and then I get to come home. Bro, I've been kind of pissed off for the people that have been graduating lately because that's some bullshit. There ain't no way in hell for the like the schools and shit. There ain't no way that you can't postpone that, bro. Like it's a fucking slap in the face to the whole families and shit just having this little robot walk up and that's bullshit, bro. Yeah, no shit. Fuck all that. Nah, they. Yeah, that's what they did for us, bro. They was like, you're going to live stream it, everything else, blah, blah, blah. And then my mom, my mom and them was talking about it. It was like, yeah, if they lift the band up, we want to come up there and see you graduate from Virginia. And I was like, man, what the fuck? No, nah, they're going to put me on the plane and be back home before y'all anyway. I'll be back home in two hours after graduation. I'll be back home in two hours. Y'all going to be home 14 hours later. <laughs> oh, bro, have you, have you seen this? Check this out. That new album. Nice. So you said you ain't been able to be doing much writing, huh? Nah, not much, man. Not much. I got a little bit of time here and there. Like right now, I could be doing some shit, but by the time I get fucking flowing with the mojo, it's... Yeah, it'll piss you off whenever you got to get up and leave. Yeah. Yeah, but the reason that I asked you earlier if they found out who pulled the fire alarm was because, like, I know if they know somebody pulled it and they can't find out who it is, they basically blame it on all y'all and make all of y'all bust ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That ain't no fucking joke. Yeah. I was sitting out there. You saw me. I was like, man, they finna fuck us up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck us up, man. I was like, damn. I 
I tell you what, I come out there one day, I didn't even know like what was going on. I had just woke up. Oh. Um. <laughs> yeah, I had come outside, bro, and they was all like, "Get the fuck on the ground!" Da, 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 da. I was like, "What happened?" <laughs> so I'm fucking down there doing push-ups and shit, and I'm asking the people around me, I'm like, "What happened? What happened? What happened?" And it was like some guy, some girl got caught flirting. And I was like, are you fucking uh, serious? I got woke up out of my nap for this bullshit. Like two like, soldiers? Like a guy yeah. and a girl soldier? Yeah. That's <laughs> fucked up, bro. Because dudes be telling me about this shit, too. And he'll be like, man, goddamn motherfucking. Like, he'll be pissed about that shit sometimes. Shit. Man, that shit getting you fucked up. Yeah, but I got so much motherfucking shit, like, ready. I just... I just don't want to put it all out at once. Like, I'm trying to be on my monthly shit. It just, bro, that, that whole thing about that post made me laugh so fucking hard. Because people came in my comments, or it was two people, specifically. And they was all, you should go back and listen to this song. I'm like, bro, I made that song in, like, 2014. Like, fucking talk about one of my recent songs like that. You can't, okay? So fuck out of here. Yeah. Shit, I thought about fucking just deleting all of my shit. Like, at one point in time, I was like, man, I'm going to delete all this shit. I'm going to start over. I think about doing that all the time, but I just got too much shit. Like, I got so much shit. I'm like, bro, like, and I've deleted a lot of my shit before. And, like, the people that watch me fucking realize it. Like, it ain't a whole lot of people that watch me like that. But the few that do were like, bro, what the fuck happened to this video? I'm like, it's cringe. <laughs> it's cringe. <laughs> I can relate. I can relate. I thought about to leave my fucking Facebook today. On that shit. <laughs> I swear to God, but my mama was I did me delete my Facebook. Shit. I didn't delete it, but I deactivated it. But I came back. My mama was tagging me in some old shit, and I was like, "But I'm, I'm about to quit. Bro. <laughs> I'm about to fucking quit." That's funny as hell. Fucking, I want to know when the hell Deuce is coming back. Like, I want. That I hope I hope that like y'all schedules at some point in time will coincide. That way we can all chill. Oh no, my shit, bro. After this, the twenty fifth next next month, I'm back. Well, oh, you I'm like back. you back back? I'm back. So what's the what was the point of going? What are you doing? I'm getting trained, certified and shit. Oh, uh, like, okay. This, this class I'm doing right now, this this ten week class, is worth like seven to nine college credits. Either seven or nine. Oh, okay. I see. I see. So I'd rather spend ten weeks doing this shit. And yeah. That than I had go spend what? How wow. long it takes to get that? You know, I don't know. I didn't stay in college. I don't fucking know. I thought you were talking about money. And I got to deal with that shit all the goddamn time. I bet that shit gets annoying. You living in a school, bro. <laughs> like, bro, no, I'm living in a fucking rehab center. <laughs> I'm for real. I was on the phone with my homeboy the other day. He's a convicted felon. He went to rehab and all that shit. He went to jail and he went to rehab. And I was on the phone. <laughs> I, was, I was on, uh, you know how you can Facebook, you can Facebook messenger call like multiple people at one time? Yeah, yeah. All right, well, it was, we was doing that. And he was on the screen, and he said, somebody else has said, damn, bro, you basically living in jail. And he chimed in and was like, no, nah, it's pretty much a rehab, but same thing. Bunch of crazy motherfuckers you got to deal with type shit. I'd imagine a lot of people got to have their medicine. Huh? No, not here. You don't really see people, people needing medicine. Really? Yeah, it's, it's they, they try to keep you pretty well healthy here. Oh. Uh, now you do got your seldom dumbasses that try to get prescribed vitamins. I don't understand that. I had to deal with that today. Somebody was telling me they wanted to get prescribed vitamins, and I was like, "Bitch, just go buy you some Flintstone gummies and go on about your business." But shameless. Bro, you know, I was telling you about the blood pressure shit that's been going on. I just bought these the other day. I couldn't find one a day for men, so I bought that instead. But let me tell you something. I found a gray hair in my head the other day. <laughs> I'm 22 years old. I had a gray hair in my head the other day, bro. I was telling, I was telling a story about it. She, uh, she in the same look. She, she not in the same class, but she in the same little area as me. And she yeah. said, "Go get you some just for men." I said, "Fuck no, I ain't doing that shit." <laughs> so I'm like, Fuck that bitch and keep on rolling. That's Fuck funny. Me. I mean, crazy as hell. I'm only doing that because, like, like you know how I told you I've been eating like shit and all that. Like the night that I had my scare and all that shit. 
Yeah. Um, or the day after that, actually, I went to the store. I did some research and shit, like what specific types of foods like benefit lowering your blood pressure and shit. So I went to Greer's and I bought like a fuck ton of blueberries, bananas, fucking strawberries and shit, spinach, kale, all that shit. Like, I'm like, nah, but and I ain't, I ain't drank no soda in like three weeks. Uh, today was the first time I broke my fast food thing. Um, I went to Pizza Hut today and I kind of regret it because I kind of felt like shit after I ate it. Like eating healthy, bro, is like a whole different thing as far as that's like I forgot what it felt like to not be eating shit. <laughs> like, bro, all right, let me tell you something. When, whenever I got here, when I got to when I got to the other place, all that where they was fucking us up every day. Yeah. Right, when they when we got there, they said like there was a line. It was like uh, little, like you know the little fold out tables. The little white fold out table, the like beer pong tables. Yeah. Redneck ass beer pong tables. Anyway, <laughs> it was like fucking 10 of them bitches lined up. All right. And it was on top of them was like little ice chips. And it was like hot ice chips, not cold ice chips. It was full of hot food and shit. And, uh, uh, and they were serving us. And they was like, do not pick and choose what you eat. My servers know what to serve you. They are trained. And then I started looking at the servers. And these motherfuckers got here the same day I did. <laughs> they was not trained on shit. <laughs> so anyway, so then they changed our whole diet that day. For the next ten weeks, bro, we eating whatever the fuck they giving us. All right, I ain't never had gas like that in my motherfucking <laughs> life, dude. I ain't lying to you. All right, that's cool. So what they feeding you, bro? I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to fucking talk about it. It's not that MRE shit. I saw you was eating the MRE the other day. I'm going to get to them in a minute. I ain't there yet. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You got to like so, them in my well, certain ones. We're going to, no, you don't, don't speak that fucking blast for me, all right? We ain't <laughs> talking about that right now, all right? We talking about when they started feeding. So they started feeding us this shit, all right? It was like, it, it wasn't bad, but it was not good. You I'm know good. what I'm saying? And uh, so we're eating that shit for like seven, eight weeks. And then it comes time when we got to go like to the, what they call the forge. And it's like where you stay outside for like four days, you run like, you like walk like 40 miles in the, in the course of like four days with a big ass backpack on and mm. a bulletproof vest and all kinds of, and it got, got a machine gun and shit. Like, fuck that. But anyway. Have you come through the, um, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, my, dude, when I got done doing that, when I got done doing that, bro, my pockets was full up with sand. I believe and it. Sand all in my pockets. Fuck that. But anyway, back to the food. <laughs> they fucking, bro. They was fucking my stomach up with that shit. And then after the forge, all right. Then we came back, and it was whenever all this fucking Corona shit going on. Blah blah blah. Stay six feet apart. <laughs> they gave us MREs, bro, three times a day. Now. I don't want to eat shit to do it anymore. My lunch half the time, I give the main meal away and eat the cookie out of that bitch. Skittles was currency in that motherfucker. I ain't lying to you. God damn it, man. Skittles was <laughs> currency. You ever seen a, a pack of Skittles sell for $20? No. I ever. <laughs> hey, let me get a cigarette type shit. <laughs> yeah. All right, well... No, there wasn't no cigarettes in that mug, but... I believe it. I believe it. Anyway, after that, what? Then, what? then they sent us here. And as soon as we got here, the food, it changed. It changed. It was like it was like night and day. All right? Back over there, whenever we had pancakes, the edges of them bitches was hard. Like, you could cook them in the microwave for too fucking long. All right? Like McDonald's pancakes? Like, the middle of that mug, you could, you could do all this. But the edge of that bitch was a fucking disc golf. You know what I'm saying? A frisbee. Yeah, a hard one. All right. Well, <laughs> yeah. we got here, and dude, the pancakes was soft and moist all the way through. The syrup on that bitch was perfectly lathered all the way across, and it was sticky, and it was it was sweet. It was maple. It was good. It was just, god damn, that bitch was good. But then, all of a sudden, it just started getting worse and worse and worse. Mm. All right. When I first got here, 
We could go to the salad bar and put some jalapenos on our burger. We could put pickles mm -hmm. on our burgers. The hamburgers were busting. I'm talking about busting. And then over the progress of time, it just it was not busting no more, True, It was not busting no more. <laughs> so fucking serious. And that was a bitch. And when I, when I left, when I left from basic, I had texted Deuce. I said, hey, man. Can you smoke at AIT? And before Corona, yeah, you could. So he told me, you can, you can ask him about this shit. You can ask, I'm on live right now. You can ask him about this shit. He said, <laughs> yeah, I bought a carton my first day. I'm like, hell yeah. So I'm leaving basic thinking I can go buy me some cigarettes in like fucking 20 minutes after I touch down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no. I was wrong. I still ain't have one. Damn. That was six weeks ago. Shit. I've been gone for 17 weeks. Damn. Like, it's been 17 weeks? 17 weeks, true. 17 weeks. Shit. Time's been fun for me, bro, but I've just been on autopilot. Like, I haven't been doing shit, but just sitting in here. I was gone for 10 weeks at the other place at basic, and then I was gone for another week being a holdover because I couldn't travel nowhere because they had a military ban on movement. And then uh, now I've been here for six weeks. So that's 17 weeks. Have you been able to keep up with the mu music coming out and shit? Like, you ain't cut off from that type of shit, are you? No, I was for the first, like, 10 weeks. For the first 10 to 11 weeks, I was cut off. Like, uh, oh, yeah, I remember whenever Deuce was going through that because he fucking called me. He snuck his phone in the bathroom or some shit. I think he called you that day, too. If I'm not mistaken. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't think he called me. I think he just called you. I think he called you in the rainbow. Yeah, I seen people crack like that. I seen that shit. It was crazy. Brother, you know how many beats I just bought? Seventeen. I'm not even uh huh. Seventeen. More. Thirty two. Double it. Sixty four. Sixty three. That's not double. I know it's not exactly double. I know my maths. All right. But I'm gonna make a lot of shit. Like these beats are actually pretty good too. Like I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have bought them if I couldn't listen to them at first and tell if I liked them or not. Yeah, because it could have been just a 12 year old doing the shit. Oh my god, bro! It really could have. But I was like, <laughs> well, the presentation is pretty good. I was like, it's a good presentation, so I'm going to fuck with it and see what's up with it. I listened to three beats, and then I was like, that's enough. Like, it, it was banging, so I bought it. But I got more than I know what to do with right now. <laughs> that's all right. I'm going to fuck with it when I get back. you damn right you are, because I ain't going to do all these by myself. That's for damn sure. Yeah. But I need to fuck with Dada one of these days whenever I decide to actually fucking do something. But... But I'm not trying to meet him in nobody's house, especially if I don't know him. Yeah, I'm finna call him in just a second. He got something from me. He got to send me something. Okay, I don't know if I broke it down to you before, because I hadn't really talked to you much since you left. But my thing is, I feel like I could really do some shit with these lighters, because <laughs> motherfuckers don't be buying these no more. So, no. And, and if you think about it, around here especially, motherfuckers be smoking. They buy lighters a lot. And the thing about lighters, you use it enough, it's going to run out. You're going to need another one. So, hey. I never thought I'd meet a man that sells lighters. To be honest, I tried to put myself in your mindset because you're always doing that type of shit. Like, you're always thinking, like, okay, well, if I can take this and do this with it, I will have this. I, I literally was like, what would Smokey think about this? I'm going to start calling you Dank Hill. <laughs> <laughs> I sell butane and butane accessories. <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> Thank you, boy. It's gonna be a new name in my phone. Thank you. I ain't calling you BK West no more. Thank you. All right, though, man. Let me get off here. I got a fucking uh call Dowd Allen shit. Like I said, he got All my right. he got my package. All right, tell him to fuck with me. All right, I'll tell him, but I doubt he calls you. <laughs> I don't see that happening either. But I'll talk to you later. All right, G. I'm gonna fuck with you. All right, peace.